confirmed that music icon Prince died of what so many suspected, an accidental overdose. The singer's death shines a light on prescription pill addiction, which is a growing epidemic many parents are dealing with. And now those concerned that their child could be using can easily have them tested to see if they're taking pills or other substances. So Patrick Starr's here with us from any lab tests now. So there is a growing need for this kind of thing. Yes, there is. Um, we see it every day where parents are bringing their children in, mm -hmm. and unfortunately adult parents as well, um, or adult children, sure. um, having a, a need of doing this drug screening. What kinds of tests do you offer? Um, so there's two main ones I'd like to talk about. One is a urine drug screen. Mm -hmm. That is good if anybody has been under the influence within 24 to 72 hours. Kind of gives them that window, uh, get a urine drug screen done. Uh, the other one is a hair test, a hair follicle test. Mm -hmm. That one will actually go back 30, uh, 90 days. Okay. Yeah. It, it, can, do you have to be sneaky about it? Do you have to get a hair with a piece of the root, or can you go to a no. brush and take a um, hair out of a brush? We actually would need a certain amount of hair. They would have mm -hmm. to come into our facility. Oh. Uh, we would sit down. We cut the closest to the scalp multiple different areas so they don't actually have a, any bald spot when they leave or anything like that. What would you bring um, with you? So this is actually a hair test sample of how we do it. What we do is we I'll get it out of here. We'll put the hair sample from the closest to the scalp right here, mm -hmm. and that's where the lab will test it from. What they do is they test inch and a half of hair. So every half inch of hair is considered 30 days of use. Okay. This will detect any kind of prescription drug, illegal drug in okay. the system. So you brought this, and is this for uh, obviously the urine test? Yeah, this would be okay. a urine sample cup. Uh, we would take that, give it to them. When they bring it out, make sure it is a real sample. We do mm -hmm. check that. So is this something a parent can do at home, or do you recommend coming into your office? We recommend them they come in. Mm -hmm. um, they can be discreet. Um, we do have ways of parents not... They can come in, do a, a verify with their children mm -hmm. without just telling them that they're actually under the influence or asking them about that. So what is your advice for a parent who has some suspicions? How do you go about doing this without accusing okay. your child and turning them off to the whole yeah. process? What, what we have is a uh, trust but verify program. Yeah. Um, it's right here. Uh, what we do is we tell the parents, it gives them a way out. It gives their uh, teens a way out. If they go to a party, um, they're handed something, the teen can say, sorry, my parents drug test me. So it is a way of getting away from peer pressure of getting something handed to them mm -hmm. without accusing them. Yeah. What is the result? I mean, what do you hear back? What's the feedback you get from parents and families? Thank you is the main thing. I mean, to get them to get something out of the way early if it's just a peace of mind and knowing that their children are not on drugs or to stop it early. Uh, we see too many times uh, kids come in, they start with the opiates. Uh, with the and then they go to heroin and it's just it gets too far along and it takes longer for that child to get off of that. What do you see most commonly these days? Um, so the three main most common would be THC, which is marijuana, mm -hmm. uh, the opioids, all the painkillers, and uh, meth. Also heroin with the painkillers. And then, do you offer advice if a parent's fears are true? Do you offer advice on where to turn? Do you also provide? Um, that kind we of can stuff? kind of steer them in the right directions. Um, definitely, we want to do them. Uh, periodic teen testing mm -hmm. to make sure that their child is getting off of the drugs. We can send them to um, different facilities, give them ideas of where to go. So Patrick, if people want to get in contact with you guys, mm -hmm. uh, what's your advice? Um, our website, www.anylabtestsnow.com, gives you all the pricing. Uh, Mm -hmm. um, phone numbers are on there, so you can actually give us a call and let us, uh, we can walk you through it. Yeah, important information. Patrick yeah. Starr from Any Lab Test Now, thanks for coming Thank you. in this mm -hmm. morning.